Let's talk about the tech stack for the group data scientist team and how you work. Mm -hmm. How does that work? So the, the current setup is that we have um, data engineers that help us onboard whatever data we want to start exploring. And they're not in your team, right? No. Oh, they're part of IT? Yeah, yeah. So and what do they do? Um, so they, they help maintain the, the cluster that we work on. So we have our own Hadoop, um, behind, on -prem. yeah, on-prem behind its own firewall, um, yeah. because of bank secrecy. Um, yeah. and, and we use sort of AD groups and Ranger in order to ensure that people don't suddenly see data. So Hadoop cluster of Hortor, no Cloudera. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. No, it doesn't <laughs> matter same. anymore. Bought, uh, yeah. bought it works, so it's the I, same now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, so there's more about which version are you on? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, we just upgraded to. So here, the here's the geeky one, stuff, right? Because here is like you know, <laughs> yeah, let's like talk it's... about let's talk about is it Horton blah blah blah? Is it the uh, CDP right? Yeah. No? But anyway, yeah, it's a Cloudera uh, Horton. Yeah, on, yeah. We on. started with Horton works. Yeah but now it doesn't matter anymore. Hmm. Um, yeah, so, and, and there um, we have uh, worker, sorry, edge nodes where, where the team uh, logs in. Edge nodes? Yeah, and then they work sort of dis distributed using Spark for doing distributed a lot of spark. calculation, a lot of Spark. We've had a, a reading group for the team. They wanted to have that so that we do all the details that we yeah. need. And how do you how do you basically organize the data pipelines? Do you, do you try to create a very layered architecture, almost like a warehouse architecture, using Hive stuff like this, or really streamline data pipelines? Yeah. So uh, the way we typically work is that we do all of the training in the analytics cluster that might call it like that, <laughs> um, the analytics cluster, which is the um, HortonWorks Hadoop, and then we publish the the model to an API. Mm -hmm. And then whoever wants to query that can query from. So you're actually are. trying to, to make a data product out of this in some way yeah. too. And how do you containerize it into an API? What do you use for that? Um, we use, uh, let's see if I remember right. Uh, we use ML flow for, um, oh, versioning mm -hmm. of the machine learning models. Um, I think at some stage we had to use Jenkins in order to deploy stuff because yeah. Linux. CICD stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think they just upgraded the, the, it's called OpenShift, I think. Yeah. Um, we have some new version of that where we deploy the, the APIs and I think it's containerized if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. So, so there are some open source stuff here as well. Yes, yes. What, what is your favorite open source uh, shout outs you want to do? Ugh, now I need to think of something really good. Yeah, something good. <laughs> I, I think some people in the team would probably kill me if I didn't say TensorFlow. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Of course, of course. So, so uh, uh, Python, 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 or yeah. what? Yeah, loads of Python, but then sometimes loads of Spark oh. because sometimes we have very, very large data sets. Okay, and no, but no quirky languages. Like we had some favorites in Julia and stuff like this. No, no, there, there is some people who are trying to convince us that R is good. I'm R like, is good. Eh. What's the problem with R? <laughs> um, oh. A million dollar question. Um, I think R, R is really good for, for like when you're research related, mm -hmm. um, because you have a lot of sort of uh, active research people there. Some people say math guys love the more R yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think so, it's yeah, that's why I was interesting. Eh, well, yeah. you should love R. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a conventional mathematician. <laughs> um, and I think R is like really good with like matrix, matrix manipulations, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. not always that you're doing matrix manipulations. No. You do other stuff as well. Huh. And I think Python is like the, the place where most data scientists work. So a lot of yeah. the this is where libraries. the frameworks and libraries are. Yeah. 